Hello wonderful people of the internet. I'm back with another video. Today's video is going to be all about building an intentional wardrobe. I'm really excited for this one because I've been, as per usual, browsing the internet and kind of I'm continuously working on finding my personal style and I kind of feel like on this channel we're kind of working backwards. We're like looking at big picture and then getting to finding your style. I want to do a whole video on how to find your style but right now I'm also in the process of it so I don't have like firm tips for that yet. But anyways today I'm going to um, share three tips on how I believe you can build an intentional wardrobe and one that really speaks to you. So if you're interested in that then please Let's get into the video. Stay tuned. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I would also recommend following me on Instagram as I've been posting on there a lot and very like frequently and stuff like that. So yeah. Okay, let's get into it. Also, what do you guys think of my hair? I'm really wanting to cut my hair. I really, really want a pixie cut. Like I've been wanting one for a long time and I've always said that I feel like before like at least once in my life I need to cut my hair really short my hair like it's in a bun back here but I don't know I just feel so much more like fashion with short hair but I also feel like I have a really round face so with my hair short it's like wow it's really giving a lot of face anyways let's talk about what we're actually here for so tip number one it's going to be something that i mentioned briefly in um, my five tips for making wiser shopping decisions but tip number one is know your style pyramid and actually instead of style pyramid let's say style ice cream cone okay <laughs> because it's kind of going to be more of like an inverted triangle so what I mean by this, and I'll share mine and um, how this correlates to this whole like building an intentional wardrobe. But when you're looking at your style pillars, your style cores, I would say for me at least, I have at least three strongest ones. There's other subsections, but there are three that I would say are the most true to me and kind of last through every era of my life. And I would say when you're trying to decide what are my three, kind of look at your style evolution through over the years from like when you first were able to start choosing your clothes um, to now. And for me, my first one is minimalism. I like minimalistic outfits and usually more minimalistic um, color palettes, which I know is kind of funny looking at my look right now, which we'll kind of get into later. But my first one is minimalism. So even when I get to number two of my style cone and number three of my style cone, the minimalistic as part, um, aspect of it kind of trickles down and I'll show you how. So minimalism, so that um, include silhouettes color palette I usually like a slightly more structured but not um, maybe overly intricate hmm, that kind of will backfire when we get to number three but overall I would say Japanese and Scandinavian minimalism and design theories are ones that usually really align with align with me flowier clothing um, layering black and white grays are usually what the bulk of my wardrobe um so yeah that would be number one number two for me is equestrian prep so i notice when i'm choosing and when i'm getting this is now where i'm adding a little bit more detail into my outfits i notice that my style falls a little bit more preppy i love a riding boot with jeans and a blazer or a riding boot and a skirt and a button-up like that's something that really speaks to me and it's still minimalistic because there's not a lot of like bells and whistles going on but in terms of category it's minimal but it falls a little bit on the preppy side so that's why it's number two for me it's not the bulk of my style but if we're like narrowing it down more then I would say myself falls a little bit more preppy classic vintage 90s which is kind of like the style of this sweater i'd say it's kind of nice it has buttons down here too but yeah so that's kind of number two for me number three is where my style is a little bit more experimental it's still really me still really true to me 
but it's a little bit more again experimental this is where i have fun in my wardrobe and that's my baby doll goth section which i guess now is kind of known as um ballet core um but for me i call it baby doll goth and this style is one that i found to become or resonate with me a lot during the you know what in 2020 so that's where i was like i really do also like tool and big skirts but like then juxtaposed with like a blazer kind of dior-ish um but a lot of brands that align with that are suman rosha shushu tong um cecily banson and i notice a lot more eastern asian brands so but also in that section i also like a lot of beading intricate details but the reason why this is number three and why number one is number one i noticed that sorry excuse me that even though I like like baby doll goth, I will I notice that within this category I still usually stick to black, white, and gray. If in this section I wouldn't usually go for something like pink or colorful because for me that looks a little bit too playful, a little bit too um costumey for my aesthetic and style. So it still has like if we're using it as a funnel, it still has the blacks, the whites, the minimalism coming from here from the top part of my style cone um but here is like where my details in my outfits are if that makes sense let me know if you want more in-depth detail on that but that's kind of how i look at it my minimalism my equestrian prep or grandma core coastal grandma mom core is the middle and then my fun more fashion like playful side is my baby doll goth section so yes Think of your three most style pillars I'd recommend going on Pinterest, looking, just start browsing Pinterest. You don't have to have even um, an aesthetic that you know that you like yet, but I would say when you go on Pinterest, create a fashion board, and then within your fashion board, you can create subsections. So just start adding pins to your Pinterest fashion board, and then go through all the pins that you kind of selected, maybe sit down for an hour, two hours, go through all the pins that you selected and start putting them in categories. And once you put them in categories, you'll probably discover, hmm, there is something between like here that has like commonalities and probably they have commonalities because it's something that truly speaks to you and that will kind of help you decide on your style cone if you will so i'd recommend doing that and that was something that was really helpful and transformative for me in my wardrobe and helping me put language to um pieces that i like tip number two Tip number two is something that I was really inspired by, by, um, I believe her in, in her YouTube is Brown Girl Chi, and she recently uploaded a video called Seasonal Color, and she kind of spoke about how every season, every, like, fashion season, so fall, winter, and spring, summer, she chooses one color to be super intentional about, and I found that video really interesting because I noticed that subconsciously i choose um a seasonal color or a color that i'm really drawn to for a specific amount of time and i didn't really have a word for it um and so i thought that was really interesting so kind of going off of that i would say choose a color palette um that you're kind that you want to be intentional about for a length of time if you notice on my channel navy blue has been a color that i've been like so drawn to for fall winter it kind of started august of late august of last year of 2022 and has lasted up until around february of 2023 now that it's March and we're kind of going into spring summer, I noticed that my palette is kind of changing. But I noticed for me, I have kind of like, I think I like things in threes. I have like a core color, so like the navy blue, and then I have a secondary like two colors, and then a tertiary, would that be the correct term? Tertiary like three colors so not just one color but maybe I have a core color and then accent colors that I like to pair with the that core color that my heart is really drawn to so like I said fall winter I was really into navy but I noticed for spring summer my heart is kind of leaning more towards this very like 
orange red kind of color i'll try and put it on the screen but i'm like really intrigued by it and i just desire to wear everything that color especially knits or tops and things like that and I think kind of if you um, watched I think one of my previous videos I was saying I think I might be a bright spring in terms of my seasonal color palette if you don't know about your color analysis I would highly recommend looking into that again I think it's really interesting to study that especially if you're trying to build um, your perfect or dream wardrobe um, I want to do a whole video on that but anyways so yes I noticed that that's a color I'm into but around that I noticed there's another like subcategory of colors that I'm also drawn to which for me would be olive green or things that have olive undertone to it so recently you'll be the first to see it recently I picked up this bag and I'll maybe put a picture on the screen, but it is brown, but it definitely has a more green undertone. And I think on the site it was called Dark Moss. And I don't know, for me, it's just like such a, there's something about the warmth that I think makes it a little bit more dynamic a little bit more complex and adds that extra oomph over just a black tote and then it has the gold detailing and as you can see i'm also wearing gold which is like who am i like i always wear silver but you know we're getting into the warmer months hopefully even though it was just snowing here in canada but yeah so i would say know your color palette and be intentional about choosing specific colors for your wardrobe for a specific amount of time you don't have to stick to them forever but i noticed that by choosing navy i wore a lot of navy and charcoal last uh, navy charcoal and taupe were my kind of like three colors for my color palette in fall winter and i'm noticing for now spring summer i'm really drawn to that orange red the olive undertone and I'm kind of deciding on my third color so I'd say choose your color palette trust me and what oh sorry I, I'm such a rambler but I would recommend also going on um, any you could go on like Canva and what I do is I choose my seasonal color and then I make little circles and like categorize them in groups like three 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 and then put different colors how do I say this like create a color palette board for yourself so then you can see what other colors go with your seasonal color and that way you will buy things that help enhance that seasonal color seasonal color if that makes sense number three I would say stay true to you this one is so important when building an intentional wardrobe because it is so easy to get sidetracked and like, oh, but this is cute and this is trending. But if you know it is not in line with you, girl, let it go. Just drop it. And I'm going to give you some examples as well as a little alert. But for me, there's some silhouettes that I really like and I think are really pretty, but I know I'm not going to wear them. I love mini skirts. I think mini skirts are super cute and actually look really good, really good on me. But I know I don't feel comfortable in a mini skirt. I know I don't feel comfortable walking around, sitting down. And if you want a wardrobe that looks really elevated, it needs to be a wardrobe that you feel comf confident and comfortable in. Or else you're always going to be shifting and like messing with your clothes and you want to be you want to wear your clothes not your clothes wear you so if you buy silhouettes that are not true to you your style your style pillars your style cones you're like you're not going to wear them they're just going to sit in your wardrobe they're going to collect us or if you do wear them you will most likely not look and feel like you so i'd say stay true to you i know that i like really flowy items so i'm probably not going to go for that bodycon dress me i know that if i'm going to wear something fitted i prefer a fitted top and then looser bottoms because that's just my style and that's what i feel comfortable in so don't try to just go with the wind or go with the trends but really analyze and if you're kind of wondering well i'm not really sure what i feel best in go through your closet right now even if your closet is not what you want it to be go i'm sure you have a, at least four or five pieces that you feel really good in go through your wardrobe 
pick out the pieces that every time you wear it even if it's not on trend even if it's not cool every time you wear it you feel like damn i look cute okay or damn like i feel good look at those pieces and again search for the commonalities it you'll most likely there's most likely something that falls within the lines of like oh this is clearly i chose this because of this i chose this because of this for me i know that something that always makes me feel really good is either something with a v-neck or i like really fine knits that have a little bit of elasticity in them and they're kind of like compression or like they're they form to my body knits like that that have a, just a round neck and they're really fit and mold to my body um i love them those always make me feel so good and so confident even if it's a simple sweater with minimal design or like literally no design it's just one color fine knit and it's fitted i feel really good in so even if someone's like oh why do you keep buying the same silhouette or something well it's because i feel good in it and i know i'm gonna wear it stay true to you don't try and just go with the trends let the trends be a sprinkle a little add-on to your wardrobe but don't let it make up the bulk of your wardrobe because your wardrobe is to represent you not whoever made whatever trend okay stay true to you okay i know i said three tips but i wanted to tr throw in a fourth one because Fashion is meant to be fun. Have fun with your wardrobe. Even though I think it's really important to be wise with your spending. Do not just like buy everything. Speaking to myself. I think it's really important to like not overthink everything. And this tip I'm honestly saying to me because I'm someone who loves categories. I like things to be in definite boxes. And <laughs> sometimes I struggle with getting out of my comfort comfort zone with fashion because I'm like it's not in my three pillars or whatever but sometimes you're able to unlock a new category for yourself just by experimenting so I would say experiment with with fashion with things that you like if you find that you're automatically drawn to something test it out maybe don't test it out with the most expensive item but for example this I'm wearing this sweater I think it's so super cute and this I bought off of a vintage site on Instagram it's called Paris Montreal and it was I think $50 which I think for a sweater like this is really good price so I was like willing to and it's no returns or refunds um, because they're a small business and it's like vintage finds and pieces anyways whatever but point is I was like let me experiment with this and I would say mix the fun pieces with your maybe your core style style cone to help yourself get a little bit more comfortable with things and it's not going to be as much of a shock for you so this i would probably wear wear with black bottoms um my heather gray coat that i showed in my last haul some black boots and maybe a black bag and then this is the star of the outfit because it's still a little bit more minimal and it speaks more to my style cone it's a fun piece, a fun throw in and add in for me. So yes, have fun with your fashion. Don't be too rigid. This is a place to express yourself. And just like you who has your, you know, fluctuates in mood and things like that, so will your fashion. So have fun. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and it was really helpful. I think one of my favorite videos, if not my favorite videos to do on this channel are like tips and tricks. Um, because they're things that I'm learning and going through in my wardrobe so it's really fun to get to share with you where I'm at it's kind of like calling up a friend and being like hey this is what I just learned so I hope you enjoy and judging by views I think this is the type of videos you guys like as well so I'll try and do more of them as I think of them so yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video please like comment and subscribe please follow me on Instagram if you're interested and want to see me live out my style tips and yeah also March is extremely busy for me, so I think I may be moving to a bi-weekly upload schedule. Um, this is, I'm in my final year of university, um, and this is the heaviest month because it's like the last full month of school. And I'm also working a lot in, on like my actual like job job. So yeah, I'm so sorry if I'm not as consistent or on the channel weekly i will try to be but it may be a i'm doing this like i have a pixie cut because that's what i want um but yeah i'll try my best sorry if it's shaking you're on a water bottle but yeah 
let me know anything you want to see if you want to see a haul i did buy some more things and yeah i hope to see you in my next video bye I got thanks that I'm giving in advance Don't gotta wait till I see it in my hand